Good morning and welcome back to our channel. In this series we travel back in time to 2019. It's a trip that a group of us did to Botswana and Namibia. The first part is going to be the Botswana version and the second part will be Namibia. For this part one we travel from our hometown of Hermanus and we go to the Karoo National Park and from there we move on to Witsant Nature Reserve up near Uppington. From there we go to a farm called Cullinan which is quite near to the McCarthy Rest border post. From there into Botswana and we go first to the transfrontier Khalakhadi to Mabua Shubi. Beautiful wild camping. From there we move on to Miremi and we camp at Kwai River Camp. Stunning, beautiful, lots of elephant and wild. From there on we travel up through the Sabuti, Chobi and all the way to Kasani where we finish the first part of this video. We hope you enjoy it and look forward to seeing you back also for the second one in Namibia. Remember to subscribe and click on the bell button to get notification of any new videos. Enjoy it and come along on the trip. Sunt Nature Reserve is home to the famous Roaring Sands, or in Afrikaans, Brul Sunt. Located in the Northern Cape, it is an ideal stopover for those travelling to Botswana. Beautiful white dunes in complete contrast to the red Kalahari sands surrounding this area is very unique. Camping here is fantastic with plenty of shade and well-maintained ablutions. If ever in the area, this is a well worth visit. But spend at least two nights to really enjoy what the area offers. Helen and Guest Farm is situated 180 kilometers off Karuman on the R380, which is the main road to McCarthy's Rest Border Post and our entrance to Botswana en route to Khalakhadi and Mabua Shobi. A great stopover before entering Botswana, nice campsite with Lapa and keen ablutions. Shuhubi is part of the Khalakhadi Transfrontier Park on the Botswana side. This is real wild camping. All camps are unfenced and you can definitely expect lions to wander through the camp. So always be on the lookout and don't wander around, especially at night. Only a few campsites have water, but bear in mind that this may not be suitable for drinking. So you need to take everything that you need. No shops, no petrol, so you need to be totally self-sufficient.
Kwai Camp is situated at the North Gate in the Marini Reserve. It is considered to be one of the best game viewing areas in Botswana and this certainly did not disappoint us. Truly a beautiful and wild camping experience. Unfortunately due to the drought uh, leading up to 2019, the Kwai River and surrounding swamps were very low. Be prepared for visits in the camp by lion, hyena and elephants. The roads to and from Miremi can be deep sand, especially the road to Kasani. Kwai is a must visit if you are ever in Botswana. In part two, we travel into Namibia. We visit many amazing and beautiful places from the previous trip to the Kuneni River, then all the way south through some of the most incredible scenery. We hope you will join us on this epic trip. 
Remember to subscribe and click the bell button for notifications of new videos.